Hello, welcome to this brief introduction to the Swiss National Science Foundation's Data Management Requirements and Data Management Plan Template. My name is Gero Schreier. I work in research data management support at the Open Science Team at the University of Bern. The aim of this introduction is to give you an understanding of the Swiss National Science Foundation's requirements around open research data and to support you in writing a successful data management plan. We will focus on the SNSF template, but this series of short videos can also be used as a general introduction to data management planning. Please note that these videos are for orientation only. We've made them to the best of our knowledge, both of the SNSF requirements and of general good practice, but we are no representatives of the SNSF and do not speak on its behalf. In this first video, we will discuss the Open Research Data Policy by the Swiss National Science Foundation, or SNSF, which is the framework for their research data management requirements. We will also look at the financial support for data management activities that the SNSF offers. And finally, I will give a brief outline of the SNSF's data management plan template. Throughout the rest of this video, I will refer to data management plan using the acronym DMP. For you as a researcher, there are two main requirements from the SNSF Open Research Data Policy. The first one is that researchers applying to the SNSF for funding must submit a data management plan along with a project proposal. The second basic requirement is that data underlying publications from SNSF-funded research must be shared openly unless they are bound by legal, ethical, copyright, confidentiality or similar clauses. Let us now look more closely at the first requirement under the SNSF Open Research Data Policy, the DMP. DMPs must be submitted as part of the project proposal and should be written in the same language as the proposal. However, they will not be considered during the scientific evaluation of the proposal. This means that your project may be accepted even if the SNSF is not entirely happy with your DMP. In this case, the SNSF will let you know what revisions they demand. The funding money will only be released if the DMP is resubmitted and accepted by the SNSF project officers. A DMP should cover the management of all research data in the project, regardless of whether data will be shared or not. For example, if a project in clinical research or in social sciences generates sensitive personal data that cannot be publicly shared, a DMP must nonetheless be submitted. If you do not generate any data at all, you don't have to submit a DMP, but you must explain to the SNSF why you do not generate data. You can and should update your DMP regularly throughout the project lifetime. The SNSF sees DMPs as living documents that evolve together with the respective projects. For example, if you decide to analyze more data than initially planned, if you need more storage space or decide to share data on another repository, this should be reflected in the project's DMP. The second requirement that comes with the SNSF Open Research Data Policy is the obligation to share data that underlie publications. By data underlying publications, the SNSF means data that are needed to reproduce findings presented in your publications. In fields where we don't speak of reproducibility, like in some areas of the humanities, for example, we can say that these are the data needed to understand the conclusions presented in a publication and that make those conclusions transparent. It is very important to note that the sharing obligation only applies if the data are not bound by legal, ethical, copyright, confidentiality or similar clauses. For example, if you are working with sensitive personal data that are subject to data protection and if these data cannot be fully anonymized, you do not have to share them. The same applies if study participants did not give their consent to data sharing or if the data are bound by confidentiality contracts. For more information, please visit the SNSF website, watch our video on the ethics and legal aspects in the DMP, or get in touch with us. If you can share your data, you must do so using a publicly accessible database that complies with the fair data principles. In most cases, 
This will be a research data repository like Boris Portal at Bern University or Zenodo. We'll say more about compliance with the fair data principles in the video about data sharing and reuse. The SNSF contributes up to 10,000 francs to expenses for research data management activities. Costs are eligible if they are needed for preparing research data so that they can be archived and shared. For example, if the data require extensive reformatting before sharing, or if a repository charges you for data upload, this money can be used. However, costs are only eligible for the services of non-profit organizations. Note that this money is not eligible for data storage during the project. For this type of cost, the SNSF offers separate funding. If you want to apply for this money, you have to do so at the time of the project submission. It is not possible to apply for this money later on. The SNSF provides a template for your DMP. The template is divided into four sections. First, data collection and documentation. Second, ethics, legal and security issues. Third, data storage and preservation. Fourth, data sharing and reuse. We have created a video introduction to each of those four sections where we provide you with all the necessary information to develop your DMP. To conclude, let me draw your attention to the services of the Open Science team at the University of Bern. First and foremost, you can send us your DMP for review before you submit it to the SNSF. We provide feedback within two to three working days free of charge. You can send it to us using the submission form on our website. In addition, we operate repositories for open access publications and research data, as well as a research information system, and we offer publishing services for open access journals and books. You can consult with us if you have questions around open access publishing, research data management, or open science funder requirements in general. Just visit our website or drop us an email. We also highly recommend subscribing to our open science newsletter, checking our blog, and following us on Twitter. We look forward to hearing from you.